A new stretch of storms from Nebraska to Maine targeting 65 million people. At least a dozen tornadoes already deployed against Iowa yesterday with a kind of savage beauty. Bold lightning strikes in Wyoming from the clouds overhead to the city below. And at this hour, a new buildup of storm cells on the way as ABC's Lindsay Davis starts us off right now. No rest for the weather weary. Watch as this tornado thrashes across an Iowa field as another round of severe weather invades the state. There's like a whole tree up there. Even the storm chaser who captured this twister admits he was caught off guard. If I hadn't been there and seen it with my own eyes, I would have thought that it would have been a fairly strange event just because the storms weren't expected to be that large. 13 reported tornadoes in central Iowa yesterday alone, like the one that literally turned Mary Nielsen's life upside down in a matter of seconds. I said, dear God, don't, don't trap me down here. I got three beautiful grandkids. Tonight, more than 65 million Americans remain in the storm zone. In North Dakota, hail and winds strong enough to flatten this trailer. An EF-1 tornado packing winds of 110 miles per hour in western Michigan mangled homes and brought down trees. Sound like a freight train and whipping wind, stuff flying around. Up and down the Mississippi, cones of caution. They're bracing for more rain, flooding already forcing the closure of several roads and bridges, while Utah and California could use more rain to battle blazes. Outside of San Francisco, more than 6,000 acres have already burned. Here in the Northeast, temperatures are nearing triple digits. A severe thunderstorm watch in effect for portions of New York and Pennsylvania for tonight, and more storms in the forecast over the next few days. Diane, it's not over yet. All right, Lindsay Davis reporting, and thank you so much, Lindsay.